She's a renowned pageant winner, actress, filmmaker, and perhaps above all, activist. Thea Mirza has made it her mission to not only entertain people through her work in film, but also create awareness about the planet. She's a committed voice for change in the fields of conservation and the environment. She was recently at the UN representing India to spread the message of clean air, clean sea, wildlife preservation, and climate change. I am so excited being in Central Park and speaking to you about sustainability today. I know you're here for a summit with the UN. Tell us a little bit more about that. I'm so glad we're having this conversation. And thank you for shining the light on the sustainable development goals. That's what I'm here for. I am the SDG's advocate for the Secretary General of the United Nations, which means that I'm one of 17 advocates mm -hmm. around the world uh, to make and take the sustainable development goals as far and wide as possible. So the, a large part of the work that I do is to increase outreach and the basic understanding of what the sustainable development goals are. The plan agreed at the United Nations in 2015 by every country to set the world on the path for a more equitable and sustainable future for all people everywhere. 2015, all countries of the world came together to adopt the 2030 Agenda and agreed to adopt the Sustainable Development Goals, which are 17 identified goals by these nations, and that means these people, which means all people on the planet, uh, because these nations represent everyone, everywhere, to build a world that is peaceful, progressive, and healthy for everyone. If we are to feed 10 billion people by 2050 and achieve the Sustainable Development Goals target of universal and equitable access to safe and affordable drinking water for all by 2030, we must protect our rivers, our lifelines. As urban dwellers, we, we tend to be very highly consumptive mm -hmm. and highly wasteful. And I think some of the things that we can easily do is to carry our own water bottles, uh, so avoid using single-use plastics, yeah. carry your own you know, mug for, for your coffee or your chai, yeah. <laughs> uh, carry your own cutlery, so you're avoiding you know, disposable mm -hmm. cutlery. Uh, I have everything in my bag and, uh, and even though it adds weight to, my, you know, uh, to the bag and can get heavy, especially when you're walking long distances mm -hmm. here in New York, it's so well worth it because at least then you know that your mindfulness is stopping you know, so much pollution entering the natural world and harming everyone. And this is how we can do it. Choose biodegradable, cleaning products that won't end up in a river. Avoid water-soluble pesticides that can seep into the soil and reach nearby water bodies. Segregate non-degradable and biodegradable waste. Don't waste water. Volunteer for river cleanup drives and fall in love with the life force that with endless generosity sustains the planet and all of us. How would you describe this phase in your life? Now you're also a mother now. Talk a little bit about that and just the phase of life you're in now. It's been 23 years. I grew up, I mean, I've grown up in this industry, literally. I started mm -hmm. when I was 19. I think what the industry taught me and has given me is deep human connections. It's helped me recognize what my purpose is. And I find myself at a point in my life where all my work is so aligned. Whether it's the cinema or the shows on you know, OTT or it's the work that I do outside of uh, you know, acting, everything is aligned with making a difference. Now we are the thousands and thousands of people on the road. Anand Vihar bus terminal. I don't know how much risk is taking. You had a really good arc and made in heaven. Is that role special to you yeah. as well? Uh, absolutely. It, uh, it's special to me. That's how you personalize the SDGs. <laughs> Through storytelling. Yeah. Identify the themes that, you know, uh, advance the goals. So, Inequality, gender inequality is one of the most critical SDGs and I'm just so happy that the theme uh, was addressed and, uh, and, done, and done so magnificently right through the show. I mean, Made in Heaven 
uh, has so many layers of the, uh, the the themes from the sustainable development goals that have been addressed. I have to go back and tell Zoya and Vima this that it, it makes uh, it's a powerful example of what storytelling can really and truly stand for. कितना बदलू मैं अपनी ज़िंदगी को? शनास हम समझते हैं लेकिन इसकी इजाजत है ना वक्त के साथ लोग बदलते हैं सैकड़ों सालों तक गुलामी की भी इजाजत थी गुलामी बैन हुई ना फिर तो एक ही हल है तुम तलाक ले लो और अपने बच्चों की कुर्बानी दे दो इफ यू कुड गो बैक टू योर यंग सेल्फ व्हाट इज अ पीस ऑफ एडवाइस यू वुड गिव टू योर 20 ईयर ओल्ड सेल्फ I think I tell my 20 year old self, self to be patient and not allow the ageism in the industry to get to me because I think in my 20s a very large part of my 20s was spent in fear fear of rejection fear of not getting work once I crossed a certain age fear of just losing out and I feel like it didn't give me the opportunity to really thrive because I was so filled with fear and these are fears that are imposed by society by the 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 fractured lens that the industry views women from and the fact that it is it can be misogynistic it can be patriarchal and it can be sexist so yeah i would tell my 20 year old self no one can stop you from living your dream until you decide you don't want to jab mujhse pucha ki kya main ye bachcha girana chahti hu to mujhe zindagi mein pehli baar ehsaas hua ki main apni marzi ke mutabik kuch kar sakti hu मैं ये बच्ची चाहती थी आई हैव मेट अ सिंगल पर्सन हुज वॉक अप टू मी एंड एक्सप्रेस लव हु हैजेंट मैंशन रहना है तेरे दिल में एंड आई फील दैट 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 फिल्म इज अ गिफ्ट दैट जस्ट नेवर स्टॉप गिविंग इट्स अ फिल्म दैट विल ऑलवेज बी वेरी स्पेशल टू मी बिकॉज इट्स माई फर्स्ट फिल्म बट इट्स ऑल्सो अ फिल्म दैट्स जस्ट गिविन मी सो मच लव दैट आई एम सो ग्रेटफुल हम सोए रहे एक चादर में हम दोनों तन्हा हो ना कोई भी रहे इस घर में जरा जरा महकता है महकता है आज तो मेरा तन बदन प्यासी हो मुझे भर ले अपनी बाहों I think subconsciously I wanted to be an actor because I would come back home and dance to Madhuri Dikshit and Sri mm-hmm. Devi songs and entertain everybody in the house and then of course do it, do it even at like family functions. I remember uh, my caretaker his when his daughter was getting married I danced to Mere haathon mein no no chudiya hai and um, so I think subliminally it was always there and when I started working in film I discovered how much I love it. Ritik Roshan Ha mile mein मैं तो इन्हीं के साथ फोटो खिंचवाऊंगी हाँ मुस्कान मुस्कान मैं इनके साथ खिंचवा लू तस्वीर हाँ उनके साथ लेकिन तुम उनके साथ खिंचवा रही मैं इनके साथ खिंचवा लेता हूँ मेरी बात और है क्यों क्यों अगर उनके साथ इतना ही फोटो खिंचवाना था तो शादी क्यों नहीं कर लेते उनके साथ मैं तो चली हाँ is perceptions of myself that limit me from truly pursuing the full potential of my being i am doing and being everything i ever wanted to pehchal nadiyon sa tu tu hawa se haath mila tu khud se aage badh chala Congratulations are in order not just for getting married but becoming a mom. How would you describe this phase in your life? The best phase of my life. I mean, I've always wanted to be a mother and I think I've always been a mother. Just to everyone else other than my own children. And now I have some of my own. <laughs> Nothing makes you feel more alive and more awake to the present moment like the presence of a child. and uh, i am so grateful to samaira and avyan for making me their mother what is 
one message you have for your fans? I just want to thank you all for being so wonderful, for being so supportive, for being so kind and generous over the years. And I count on each of you to help further my purpose, you know, to, to join me in my efforts to live more sustainably, make a difference within the reach that you have, whatever that may be, immediately at home, at your workplace, within your community. Let's work together. As a UN ambassador, I had the opportunity to work on the Beat Plastic Pollution Campaign, which led to a historic ban on 21 items of single-use plastics in India. Living progress begins with a single mindful act. That's the progress I believe in. What's your story of progress?